Hello, everyone. We are live at 5. It is Monday, November 19th. It's Thanksgiving week. It's Thanksgiving week. I'm Paul Wontorek. And I'm Riley Gilbert. And over there, we have Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. And we are giving thanks today to one of our favorite Broadway legends. Yes, a legend indeed. Ben Vereen. Tony winner there. Ben Vereen. He is, you can have Thanksgiving with him. We're going to tell you all <laughs> about right. it. I mean, what what better way to have a Thanksgiving Celebrate meal? Turkey Day. Meal and entertainment and some showbiz and some Absolutely. stories yes, and music. And I mean, whatever. We're going to get to that. But first, <laughs> today's top five. The Moulin Rouge is officially taking over Broadway. Oh. Yes, it's official. We've now. been waiting for this yes, announcement. Yes, we've been waiting to be able to give you official news regarding Moulin Rouge, even though we all kind of knew what it was doing. But now it is official. It will move into the Al Hirschfeld Theater on June 29th, 28th, 2019. That's when it will begin previews. It will officially open on July 25th. Of course, Kinky Boots will leave the Hirschfeld Theater on April so 7th. So wait, everyone can officially take Moulin Rouge off your 2019 Tony Best yes. Musical Predictin list. Yes. Because I've been no. holding, I knew that I knew it was coming after the Tony deadline. Right. You, but exactly. everybody kept going like, but maybe Will Moulin Rouge is going to win. Will it early and all that? No. It's, no. A, it's next season. 20, the 2020, the 19, start predicting 20. the 2020 20. Tony Awards. <laughs> it's never too soon. And of course, a lot of the, all of those out of tone stars that were at the Colonial Theater in Boston are coming with the production. Oh, let's name them because they're fantastic. In case, yes. And in case you've forgotten, Karen Olivo is coming Coming Aaron Tveit, Danny Burstein, Sar Nagaja, Ricky Rojas, Robin Herter, and Tam Mutu are By the all way, coming with the production. I'm sorry, I saw Robin Herter on a course line last That's night. That's right, yes, who is getting you? As Cassie, yeah, she love blew things. my mind. <laughs> yeah. She would have won a Tony Award for That's, that performance. That's what I keep saying. Just throwing hearing, it out yeah. there. By the way, we have a Tony winner in the house. We Mr. do. Ben here. <laughs> Just wait for him. But yes, get ready for Moulin Rouge. It is coming just a little while. So later. excited. And a popular good witch is going to float by Bubble once again. She is popular. She is popular. She knows about popular. I can't Ooh. do that. Uh, Katie Rose Clark. <laughs> you loved her in the bubble before. Of course. She's back, but this time she's a mom. She is a mom. Yes, absolutely. She had a baby last year. Yes. Uh, yes. And then she, of course, I saw her in the Heart of Rock and Roll, the Huey Lewis musical yep. out at the Old Globe. And she is now returning to the Broadway smash hit. You know who else was in that show? Mr. Ben Vereen. Getting to him. Maybe every story. There's <laughs> gonna literally going to be a Ben Marine thread throughout the news. Uh, she will start on December 11th. Amanda Jane Cooper, the fantastic current Glinda and Broadway.com blogger, is leaving on December 9th. Katie Rose Clark was also seen as Ellen and Miss Saigon. She was in Allegiance, Light in the Piazza, and she's fantastic. So your Wicked is in good hands. Absolutely. And some of our stage favorites are all heading to the small screen to be together. Okay, so this is... This Another is, Ben Vereen thread. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a uh, big story today. So Fosse Verdon, that is the eight-episode limited series. As being, in Bob and Gwen. As in Bob and Gwen, yes, of <laughs> course. So it's being produced by Andy Blankenbuehler and Lin-Manuel Miranda. The pilot is being shot by Tommy Kale and will be showrun by Steven Levinson. Tony winner Steven Levinson oh. of Dear Evan Hansen. Wow. He'll be the show showrunner. Listen to this cast. Absolutely crazy. Norbert Leo Butts as Patty Chayefsky. All Broadway people. This yes, is fantastic. Yes, all Broadway people. Laura Osnes as Shirley MacLaine. Ethan Slater as Joel Gray. Kelly Barrett as Liza Minnelli. Bianca Marroquin as Cheetah Maraquin, Rivera. Maraquin. Maraquin. as Cheetah Rivera. Of course, they join Sam Rockwell as Bob Fosse and Michelle Williams as Gwen Verdon. Incredible. Absolutely amazing. Um, in case you've forgotten what the show is about, it will follow the romantic and creative partnership between Fosse and Verdon and the collaborators they met along the way in their journey. Uh, this will premiere in 2019. We don't know the exact date, but it is currently under production right now. And that is the most insane cast of people I'm as part. It's dying to ridiculous. see this. <laughs> it's like dying. unbelievable. And then yeah. I want Bennett McKechnie. I'm just saying. Yes, let's dig. Let's do. Absolutely. I want more Broadway yeah. stories. We're gonna talk to Mr. Absolutely. Ben about this. <laughs> I love that. And the Jellicle Balls invite list just keeps getting longer. Okay. <laughs> this. I don't think Ben Green's <laughs> ever been in Cats. 
so there's not a connection here. But they're making a movie of cats. You've heard of this. We keep yes. talking about it. Yes. We don't know what it is. Like we me? don't know if they're really dancing. We don't know if they're animated. We don't know if it's claymation. We don't. We don't know if there's a tire. We no. don't really know what it is. We don't know is. if it's going to be Tom Hooper's camera right here. Tom Hooper, here. who did Les Mis, yes. is yes. doing the Cats movie, so it might just be like Anne Hathaway <laughs> sobbing. It might just be <laughs> no be. music Nobody and just knows. close-ups live. Nobody anyway, knows. one of my favorite characters. Yes, Jenny and Dots. I have a Gumby cat in mind. Her name is Jenny Annie <laughs> Dots. Yes. Rebel Wilson. The, honestly, genius. Who is, it, this is actually yes. great casting. <laughs> like, honestly, because I'm she can really sing. Like... She's a musical performer. She's right. hilarious. She's adorable. She's going to be Jenny Annie Dots. We don't yep. know if it's claymation. We don't know what it is. But uh, she's in the Pitch Perfect movies, of course, mm. at Bridesmaid, Bachelorette. You know who she is. She was in Guys and Dolls in the West End. Absolutely. So she yep. has real, real uh, musical. She's done like a Hollywood Bowl. Cred. Mm. Right. Oh, right. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, anyway, uh, it's coming out next Christmas, December 20th, 2019, and we can't wait to see what it is. Yeah. And this actor is learning how to walk like a man. Austin Colby, who you might know from the touring production of The Sound of Music. He was Rolf. He also played Tony in West Side Story at the Signature Center. He, or at the Signature Theater, rather. He will be taking over the role of Bob Gaudio in Jersey Boys off Broadway. Of course, Bob Gaudio was instrumental in the mounting of Jersey Boys, so it's a great role. He will begin on November 19th at New World Stages. He replaces Corey Giacoma, who played his final who will play his final performance on November 18th. Is that That's that was yesterday? So he already finished. Bye. And then Austin <laughs> begins today. Look at all of that. Uh, he joins Aaron DeJesus, Mark Edwards, and Sam Wolf in the production. Congratulations, Austin. Welcome, welcome to the off-Broadway stage. Is that stage. a common career path from Rolf to Bob Gaudio? From Rolf to Bob Gaudio. That will be the name of Austin Colby's memoir. I was thinking the same thing until he does yes. the next fantastic thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so Brick much, 11. Ryan. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for Thanksgiving? I'm pretty ready. Yeah, I'm traveling. So Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Caitlin, will you uh, tell everyone about today's guest? Yes. We have Ben Vereen in the studio with us today. He is currently getting ready for his Thanksgiving concert shows at The Cutting Room. And he's also going to the Ridgefield Playhouse for another concert, too. He earned a Tony for his performance in Pippin and a Tony nomination for Jesus Christ Superstore. His other Broadway credits include Wicked, Hair, Fosse, Jelly's Last Jam, and Grind. His extensive screen credits include Emmy-nominated performances in Roots, Intruders, and the Bell Telephone Jubilee. Uh, be sure to follow him on social media at Ben Vereen and leave all of your questions for us in the comments down below. Please welcome Ben and Paul. This Hello. is exciting. This is truly exciting. Why watch television anymore? Just watch Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Come on, look exactly. at this. Who needs look TV? Look at the studio and everything. You can watch us on a TV, too, fabulous. if you really insist on yes, it. Yes, we insist. Mr. Vereen, <laughs> yes, I, I, the Minister no, no, of no, Fun no. is here. Yes, I am the Minister of Fun, but I have a question. Who's going to play me in the Gwen Verdon? Well, this is my number one question. Bossy. I mean, come on. Right? I mean, well, I was there. Cast? I mean, who would play me? I don't know. We got to figure this out because find some that's young, what I, my head person. was spinning. Yeah. Well, what do you think about? Uh, I love the idea of us uh, digging into that part of Broadway history mm, as I a love TV that. series. Oh, what do you ooh, think? I think it's wonderful. I think we need more of that on on television mm -hmm. uh, in, in in general, just for a fact. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's do this. Yeah. We let's need do it. It. we need more. Why? Because we need to educate America, the world, what theater is all about. Yep. We are the essence of the arts, and the art is about life. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you need to see where this wonderful creation comes from and how it interplays into our lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've I been well, you've been a thread in my life, yeah. so I'm well, happy you're you. here. Thank so you. let's talk about this. You are stepping out. Stepping out step with Ben Vereen. Uh, that's, this is happening at the Cutting Room. Yes, it You're is. You're actually doing a Thanksgiving show. Yes, On yes. Thursday, mm -hmm. the 22nd, and then on Friday. On the 23rd, Friday. For people who, if you want to mm -hmm. have Thanksgiving yes. by yourself, it's fine. I don't know why no, you no, no. choose Come to have it with Ben Vereen. It with me. It'd but, be great. So how does this work? So in the Cutting Room, I know your show's at 7.30 these nights, but you can actually go earlier and have, yes, you can have, have Thanksgiving dinner. Have a dinner there. People go. And they're giving you free a glass of free champagne. Oh, for those who drink champagne. Oh. For those who do not drink, they'll right. give you a free glass of water. So well, Ben Vereen is out. a Ben Vereen show is good either sober or with a little bubbly <laughs> in you. That's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs>
So how the heck are you? I'm great. I'm great. Life you look great. great. Yes. Ram Das has appointed me the minister of fun. Yes. And we have a mantra. The mantra is, if it's not fun, don't do it. Oh. And if you have to do it. I like that. Make it fun. Okay. It's simple. Yeah. It's simple. Well, is this part and of your spiritual enforcer line yes, of yes, fashion yes. line? Yes, it is. It's oh, there it is. Spiritual enforcers. There it is. We are the enforcers towards fun. Spiritual enforcement for fun. We need fun on the planet right now. Believe me, we do. How do you have fun? How do I? I'm talking to you. This yeah. is fun. I'm here. You still get Facebook. excited I about still, all this? Yes, I do. I keep turning my head around to the minister of fun. I do <laughs> get excited about it. Why? Because I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be able to do what I do because of you. So thank you. Thank all of you for being there for me. And you have been. So thank you. So what is this Stepping Out show? What, how do you put together a, a night of entertainment? Well, Let's what look, I do is I go back. Look how fantastic you are. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. The hat. Yeah, the hat. So yes, good. Yes. And um, my, my, how, how see do my you Converse's? <laughs> see my Converse's right there? I see that. People, <laughs> that's people, not an advertisement for Converse's, okay? <laughs> now, when you do a show, people have certain expectations, right? They want to hear, they probably yeah, want to hear some They want to hear Pippin. the songs I've done, Pippin, Jesus Christ Superstar. They want to hear that. You know, and, uh, but aren't they also going to hear like Hamilton? Is that true? Mm, yes. Mm. Yeah, a little Hamilton. Mm. And, I, and what I've done is I went on, 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 my, on my page at Facebook and I've asked my audiences, what would you like to hear? Oh. And they can go on my Facebook and they can actually say, I want to hear this, I want to hear that. And I'll, I'll try to do it all for you. Oh, wow. Yes. I didn't know you were taking requests. I would have made a list. <laughs> yeah, yes. I would have pulled Where's a list your together. List? Where's your list? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I loved you. If I think about my favorite, well, first mm -hmm. of all, I loved you. This is random. Can I, can I be random? Okay, be random. I love you. Funny. I love Funny Lady. So did I. I love that movie. So did I. Okay. Everyone, and I got to mention Lester, Girl. Check it Lester out. Wilson actually choreographed that section. Oh, it was amazing. Uh, it, yes. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. Jumping on I tables, also love the spinning. Sweet Charity movie. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, Bob Fosse. Yep. You know, my, yes, my, yeah. My, Fosse, you know, yeah. My hero, Fosse, my McLean, these people were talking about. Uh, yes. Because you know these people. You, yes. I mean, yes, this, yes. Was, this was your... That's what, that's what we started off talking about. Why aren't I there? You know what I was talking about last week? I was right. talking about... Uh, Golden Boy, because oh. Paula Wayne died. Oh, yes. Fantastic yes. Paula Wayne. But well, we thank her who? for her spirit that came our way and touched our lives. Thank you, Paula. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you, that was actually an important show in your career, right? And that Sammy was, Davis Jr., yes. didn't you end what, up like covering the role? And of, of, for under, understudying Sammy. Was that a break and for you? It was a break. Matter of fact, I was playing, I was understudy. He had me understudy the Lonnie Satin, mm -hmm. uh, Billy Satin uh, role. And, uh, I went on for the Lonnie Satin role, and that's when I made my break into acting. Wow. And he sat in the wings. We were in Chicago at the Auditorium Theater, and he's sitting in the wings, and he's watching. He's, he's halfway through the show, and because of that, during that time, it was, you know, the civil rights movement was going on. He was going around telling everybody, please keep the peace, please keep the peace. Hmm. So his voice went out. So wow. halfway through the show, he, he turns to me and goes, you're on. And I had no rehearsal. I had no costume, so I went and made a costume, and I came out on stage, and I got his glasses, and I got up, I do Lonnie Satin. And so, after the show was over, he looks at me, and I'm, I get a standing ovation, my first standing ovation, and he, he looks at me and he goes, I know it all the time, kid. <laughs> and he walks away. <laughs> I said, what? Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. But you know, and that still happens. You know, just this weekend at the new musical, The Prom, mm -hmm. brand new yes. musical comedy, mm -hmm. Beth Level, the leading lady. Yes. She got sick minutes before she was in the wings, from what I heard. She got sick, and the understudy went on with like hardly any preparation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that showbiz, happens. classic that happens. showbiz. That and theater that's people why, know how to do that. That's why we all must always must be ready and prepared because mm -hmm. you never know when that moment's going to happen. Right. When lightning's going to strike. Right. And you've got to ride that lightning bolt. Right. And you, you've been doing a lot of TV work. I have been. I know you're on Star. Yes, I'm on Star. And you were, which one, Magnum, the new Magnum, Magnum P.I.? Magnum P.I., yes. Yes, so mm -hmm. you're, st you're still like, you still get excited by these things, you by these projects and getting yourself out there? It's called employment. <laughs> oh, okay. There's that, too. There's that, too. Yeah. You, know, you know, the love yeah. of the business is why we're here. Uh -huh. And when we get employed, we get a chance to to show others uh -huh. and to reach out to a bigger audience mm -hmm. to share our art mm -hmm. and our love. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, does Broadway still excite you? You want to yeah. get up on the Broadway stage? Yes, yes, yes. I want to come back to, to Broadway, and I will. What should we do? Well, we're working on a project called Reflections. 
Oh. We're talking right now to Joe Calarco and, and Josh Bogosh uh, about putting this show together. Uh, uh, I shouldn't be saying anything about it because okay. we're, we're, we're workshopping it. Okay. But, it'll be but is it kind of like a, about your life? It's about my life uh -huh. and about the people in my life and about our lives together. Mm -hmm. It's going to be quite a show. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love that. I, do too. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, thank you. I'm thank into you. I expect it. to see you there. Oh, okay, I'm, I'll be there. Okay. And, and I'll come back here to announce it. We'll, uh, you can come we'll back come whenever back you want. We, we always welcome a minister know. of fun. Yes. Here. Uh, so tickets for uh, the, cu the Cutting Room, I just want to make sure people know, CuttingRoomNYC.com mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. the website mm -hmm. for the Cutting Room. W are you going to actually eat the turkey? Are you going to have the Thanksgiving <laughs> meal before <laughs> you I go on? You got to be I, careful I, I, before no, you go no. on? Yes, you got to be careful before I go on. Maybe after? after. Some pumpkin after. pecan pie? Yeah, pumpkin of course, pie. come out and toast with everybody and you know, we're going to have a good time. That's a nice room. It's, it is a beautiful room. Yeah. i would never been there. It's gorgeous. I hadn't been there either. I went there for um, for an event for Pose, that Fox mm -hmm. show Pose. Uh -huh. I went to an event there. It's a really cool, big yeah. room. It's beautiful. Well, well, tonight we're doing a tribute to uh, uh, Stephen Schwartz. Oh. Yeah, tonight. They're having an, an affair for Stephen and he asked me to come along and so I'll be there tonight singing Magic to Do. Oh, and, fabulous. You know, what was Stephen Schwartz shows. like back during Pippin? Oh, he was a kid. Yeah, he was a kid, yeah, I know. Yeah, he, we had to use a booster seat when I first met him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. And you were in Wicked. Yes, I was. Yeah? Yes, I was. Uh, um, he called and said, I want you to do Wicked. Yeah. Would you consider it? Yeah. And I said, mm, let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to go on the biggest show on Broadway? Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, no. This is this is <laughs> Shoshana Bean, Megan Hitler. Oh, you did it with Shoshana? Uh, I always yeah, forget okay. who did it with who. Yeah, yes. You it know. was a great show. Yeah. It was great. That was wonderful. Yeah, you were great. I saw you do thank that. Thank you. Thank and I saw you, you in Fosse. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. That was my comeback show. One I know. My comeback shows, yeah. That's when I first met you. Yeah. I interviewed and, you on the press line. And, uh, uh, Jelly's Last Jam. Oh my that God! Was my I meant to talk show. to you about Jelly's Last yeah. Jam. I love that I just show had so an much. Accident in '92. Yeah, and uh, I was pretty broken up. And the doctor said it'd be three years before I'd even walk again, if I'd walk again. So I, on my birthday th that that year, mm -hmm. I went to see Jelly's Last Jam because I wanted to see what I did and what they said I'd never do again. Wow! And I said there were tears in my eyes. About to cry now. And Gregory. My buddy Gregory Hines comes out on stage, the fantastic and, Gregory and he Hines. stops the show, and he introduces me in the audience. More tears, wow. and then after the show is over, he comes out and he turns to my manager Pamela Cooper and he says, "When will he be ready?" And he says, "She says what?" She said, "When will he be ready?" You see, Keith Davis is leaving the show, Chimney on, Man, right? Yeah, Chimney Man, yeah. on the third, and we like to have Ben do the role. So I went back up to Kessler while I was rehabilitating, and I said, "Because I had no voice or anything." So I went to Dr. Gould, and went to do to Bill Riley, and went to uh, um, some wonderful dance therapy people. And on March, on April, April 3rd, I walked on stage in Jelly's wow. Last Jam. And doctors were sitting in the front row, and they're like this. <laughs> but that's what the arts. But what is that? What, 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 what is, gets you, that, what gets you that going? It's that spiritual thing inside of us. We all have it. It's not just about being in the arts, it's about life itself. Mm -hmm. But when you connect, with that inner voice and mm -hmm. trust in it. All the prayers that are going up for you, and I thank you for all the prayers, all the people who prayed for me during that time, and now mm -hmm. I'm thankful. Mm -hmm. And that's what got me going. You know, I tuned into that, and that drove me. Mm -hmm. That drove me. Young? And then, then for Gregory to come yeah. out and say, come this way, I love you, man. Yeah. Uh, what was Young Ben like? Were you, you was, were you super ambitious and driven? And because you're such a positive guy, uh -huh. and and I, I can't picture. I seem like you'd always be such a nice guy, but like you know, <laughs> you know, but sometimes ambition isn't so nice. Sometimes people when they're younger can be kind of. I don't know what were you I like. Had, I had my days. I had you my had day. your day. <laughs> I had my days. We all have our days. I was a kid from Brooklyn, and uh, <laughs> I think the first show I ever did as a child. In junior high school, yeah. it was a show called The King and I. Yeah. I had never seen a Broadway show. And there I was at the Brooklyn Academy of Music, all black orchestra, or African American orchestra, mm -hmm. excuse me. And, uh, and the cast was all African American. And I'm sitting wow. there, I was playing the uh, interpreter. 
Huh. So I was crawling on my knees. I'd never seen these costumes and orchestra. It was amazing to me. Huh. And then my principal, after the production was over, he came to me and said, what high school are you going to? I said, I'm going to go to aviation. He said, aviation? Yeah, I want to learn how to fly planes and shoot guns. He said, no, no. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, <laughs> why don't you try out for the high school for the performing arts yeah. in Manhattan? And Dr. Rachel Yoakum, who was the principal of the dance department, allowed me to come this way. Wow. And it, my life changed. Wow. Before it was the fame school. That's right. Before. That's right. Uh, hey, Caitlin. About that. Yes. Yeah. What are the people saying to Mr. Vereen? We got Ooh. a lot of questions for oh, you. People are watching. Yes. Are you questions. watching me? Yes. Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so Kristen says that Pippin was her first Broadway show, yes. and she wants to know what your first Broadway show was that you saw. That I actually saw was yes. Pippin. No, was, oh. <laughs> was Sweet Charity. Oh, Sweet Charity. Oh. Sweet Charity. Yeah. I had never seen a Broadway show. Yeah. And uh, matter of fact, the first show I did was off Broadway, uh, directed by Vinette Carroll. Mm -hmm. And it was a show written by Langston Hughes called The Prodigal Son oh, at the yeah. Greenwich Views Theater downtown. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I got to Sweet Charity and I auditioned at the Palace Theater, Remember yep. Palace yeah. Theater when it was the Palace Theater? Yeah. Beautiful. And uh, matter of fact, it's still there. It's still they're, there. They're, they're lifting they're, it up, though, I heard. It, yeah. I don't know they how, must, but they're somehow the lifting it. The prayers are lifting it up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know, so I, I went to the first rehearsal, and Bob said, have you seen the show? I said, no, Bob, I've never seen a Broadway show. He said, T get him tickets. And I went and I sat there, and I watched Gwen Verdon. Mm. Uh, um, uh, Elaine, uh, 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 Helen Gallagher, Helen Gallagher, uh, yeah, uh, um, Thelma Oliver. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was. Uh, I was. I'm going uh, 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 because it was an amazing moment mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. I could just see an actual Broadway show on Broadway. Mm -hmm. My life hasn't been the same. What was Fosse like? <sighs> mm. Hard to encapsulate. I'm sure. Yes, in a quick answer, but Bob. He's a great, great, sweet spirit. He wanted perfection. What I love about this man is that they say, people say, well, he was a taskmaster. He was this, that, and the other. No, yeah. no. He was a taskmaster because he wanted the best out of you. He didn't want you to cheat on yourself. I think the, the perfect example of Bob is in the movie All That Jazz. Mm -hmm. when, the, when the young lady, he pushes, he pushes, and she runs to the, to the, to, you know, to the bar, and he says, stop rehearsal, and, and, and Roy Scheider goes over to her. And he says, look, I, I, I can't make you a great dancer, but if you listen to me, I can make you a better dancer. Mm -hmm. And then she comes back, she kills it, right? Yeah. That's Bob's philosophy. Wow. You know, just there's something inside of us all if we trust it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. It'll do the work for you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So how do I trust that? You know, I teach master classes. Yeah. And and my and that's one of the questions that come up. How do I because you've got we have got to, and even I not still today, I've got to go within. You see, this whole process, this whole thing here, this studio, this uh um Facebook comes from a thought. Somebody sat down one day and said, I think I like an internet station where all the world can mm -hmm can have conversation with each other. Right. Boom. Facebook. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't we think of it? Why didn't we think of Why it? Why did we think? Because the blessings come universally. It's he who acts on it gets the prize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Simple. Absolutely. I love that. We can do, let's do one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack asks, how do you feel being able to choose your favorite songs to do in a concert? Like, How do I feel? Yeah, well, why, why do you love doing it? Why do I love doing it? Because, uh, how do you answer a question <laughs> like that? It's what I do. It's what I feel. What I've been bl Thank you. You're the reason why I do it. Right, you're doing it for the people. For the you people. asked them what they wanted to hear. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I, you, I asked you, what do you like to hear? And I try to find that and do it for you or create something that I hope you'll like. And what I do when I, I pick my, my list is I find songs that are personal to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if they're personal to me, I connection. know that somebody out there is feeling or has had some sort of the same experience, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we connect. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration yeah. of life. Yeah. What's the one thing from your resume that people ask you about the most? What's project? You know, roots. 
Roots. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it wow? Yeah. Roots. It's that is that wow. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Because we made history. Emmy nomination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. was. Yeah. That was, History. it was, I, you know, when I took Roots, I didn't expect, I didn't know what it was. I knew what the book was about. Right. I'd heard there was a book called Roots yeah. that ABC was going to do mm -hmm. a miniseries. Yeah. I wanted to be a part of it. Like a lot of African Americans wanted to be mm -hmm. a part of that show, us in the business. Mm -hmm. And I went to my agent and I said, get me an audition. He said, oh, Ben, come on. <laughs> You're a song and dance man. They want actors. Wow. I said, well, I, well I, I can act. He said, come on, get real with yourself. So I'm down in Savannah, Georgia. I'm doing my show. I used to do a character called Burt Williams about black oppression mm -hmm. for the performers in this business. Because at one time, uh, African Americans had to wear blackface to be on the American stage. Mm -hmm. This is truth. So I used to do a parody on it. And mm -hmm. sitting in the audience was a guy named Stan Margulies, mm -hmm. the executive producer of Roots. Oh, wow. He comes backstage and he says, I want you to be my Chicken George. I didn't know what a Chicken George was. <laughs> I didn't know. If he had a, I said, if he's on the boat going, let me out of here, let me out of here, I'll do it. Right. And it turned, and it, boom, look what we did. Right. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the night it, it aired, after it aired, we watched it uh, um, from my home. I was watching it every night. And uh, when it was finished, I got a call from ABC to come to the, the American Music Awards. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to uh, take over for someone. Uh, Freddie Prince, who had unfortunately yeah. got, went yeah. before his time. Bless you, man. And uh, I'm standing there with uh, Merv Griffin. And Merv says, congratulations. I said, well, well thank you. Thank you, man. How you doing? He said, yeah, great. And then the curtain opens. There's a standing ovation. And I turn to Merv and I go, <laughs> <laughs> and Merv goes, no, that's for you. Wow. I went, uh, what? He said, Chicken George. And I went, oh, my God. Wow. wow. What a moment. Don't forget those moments. No, wow. you don't. You don't. You don't. Wow. You don't, you don't, you don't. Oh, I could talk to you for, for weeks. <laughs> we just sit here for weeks, but we would get hungry and tired. We'd have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> anyway. You know, we can call in food. <laughs> everybody. Stepping out with Ben Vereen is at The Cutting Room. TheCuttingRoomNYC.com. Yes. Thursday, this Thursday, it's Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. yeah. 730. And Friday at 730, the doors yes. open at like 5, I think. At 5. And you yes, can go. get dinner ahead if you want. Uh, and, I mean, why wouldn't you want to spend and, a few and let me tell you, guy? Also, we'll be selling. Oh, right. Uh, here we oh. Go. The spiritual enforcer hats. So, <laughs> oh, the, so you want to get a hat? Come on out and get get and get get a hat. And the part of the proceeds go towards the arts, in schools. And the rest, of course, make more hats to send money to our schools for the arts. But you're also at the Ridgefield Playhouse in Ridgefield, Connecticut, yes, on December sixth. That's ex and it's no, second. Second. Oh, 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 I'm second. sorry. And this is great because it's the first day of Hanukkah. Maybe. So oh. I get to do the what is it? The, uh, the, the I get to light the menorah. Oh, you're gonna light, light the menorah. Oh, okay. You're gonna I'm kick it off. My, to, I'm turning my mat. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm turning on. I'm turning on for the holidays, people. <laughs> December second, Richfield. Come Playhouse, out, come Richfield, out, Connecticut, yes. and in New York City this Thursday and Friday. Yes. Thank you, sir. Oh man, it's a pleasure oh, as God always. You. I God adore you. you. And to all our people in Facebook. Hey. Bless you. Thank you, everyone out there on Facebook and elsewhere. Happy Thanksgiving. This, this will go beyond elsewhere. Facebook. Yeah, it will. Oh, it goes everywhere. Happy Thanksgiving. You might even see us on an airplane. Who knows? <laughs> we'll uh, be on the airplane, as a matter of fact, <laughs> sitting right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Have a blessed one. Hey, Caitlin, why don't you yes. take us out? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every day. You can listen to us in a podcast form by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. We talk to Andy Mantis about his Feinstein's 54 Below concert series.